Battle of the Sexes by Madison Tudum. Billie Jean King was known to be a legendary tennis player. Not only did she win six Wimbledon singles championships and four U.S. Open titles, but she was also ranked as number one in the world for five years. The Battle of the Sexes tennis match between Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean King was a monumental moment in history and remains the match that Billie Jean King is most remembered and praised for. Bobby Riggs thought that even at his age of 55, he would be able to beat some of the best female players of the time. His main reasoning for his logic being that he was male and they were female, which supported his belief that males were always more dominant despite any other contributing factors, including his age. He first challenged and defeated Margaret Court, 6'2 and 6'1. With this win, he then challenged Billie Jean King. Accepting his challenge, King knew she needed to step up and make a name for women, putting an end to Riggs' assertion. And the best way to do so would be defeating Bobby Riggs in the sport he thought he dominated. The highly anticipated match was the most televised event of the time. This legendary tennis match took place on September 20th, 1973 in the Houston Astrodome. Claiming the name Battle of the Sexes, the event earned a prime time television audience. 50 million people in the United States and an estimated 90 million people worldwide tuned in to watch the event take place. No sporting event before or since has been as anticipated or watched as the Battle of the Sexes. Billie Jean King took the win in all three sets, beating Bobby Riggs 6-4, 6-3, and 6-3. She also claimed the grand prize of $100,000. Not only was King excited to have beaten Riggs, but she knew that her win would make way for other women interested in the sport of tennis and would hopefully give them the confidence in playing other sports, working in jobs, and participating in activities mainly dominated by men. The Battle of the Sexes gave confidence to women. In a time where males dominated the majority of societal roles, King's victory over Riggs was legendary. Her victory occurred as the passing of Title IX was being evaluated. King advocated for the passage of this law. The Title IX was put in place to prohibit sex discrimination in all federally funded school programs, including sports. This law greatly impacted the ways in which women were viewed in the sporting scene. Not only did it open doors and help to increase the participation of women at the time, but it has continued to encourage female participation over the years. Billie Jean King also created the Women's Sports Foundation, in part to protect the sports part of the Title IX Act. This law remains the only law that grants women equality in America. The Battle of the Sexist Match made an impact and created such a wave of change that in September of 2017, Fox Searchlight Pictures releases the Battle of the Film, the film Battle of the Sexes, starring Emma Stone and Billie Jean as Billie Jean King and Steve Carell as Bobby Riggs. This film reenacts the famous time in history and helps to portray just how much the tennis match and all that occurred following the match impacted society. Billie Jean King not only set the tone for women in sports, but for women in society. King openly showcased her desire for other women. Her honesty allowed other individuals, male and female alike, to find pride in being all that they are. Through her victory, King was able to start a women's sports magazine and a women's sports foundation. She also entered, she also earned the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor in 2009, awarded by former President Barack Obama. Today, women are able and confident in doing things that are either heavily dominated by men or considered to be a male job or task. Billie Jean King was not only an icon in the sport of tennis, but she has left her mark on the world. If it were not for her stepping up, fighting for, and showing that women are just as able, women may not have had the opportunities in sports that they do today, nor that they have in society today. As for Bobby Riggs, well, he definitely learned not to question or to underestimate the power of a strong and capable woman.